How's it going y'all? Today I'm gonna show you the easiest way on how to do the criminal mastermind in Doomsday Highs. If you completed this challenge, you and your teammates will receive 2.5 million dollars as well. And if you completed 3 criminal mastermind challenges with 2, 3 and 4 other players, you will get the mastermind's achievement. If you need help, you can always join the discord link in the description area. We have a looking for group channel where you guys can post and help each other out. So let's get straight into the video. Alright, first of all, you need to own the Arena Workshop. You can purchase this property from the Arena War website. I've already owned it. You can actually purchase this from this webpage here. After that, you need to buy the EC Classic, which you will need to upgrade later to Nightmare EC. This is the Arena location, just in case if you guys don't know. Park your EC Classic on any of the levels and you can start customizing it. Firstly, you need to upgrade it to Nightmare AC. You can't do other variations. If you use the apocalyptic one, it'll be temporary, but Nightmare AC will let you have it from one mission to another. Once you upgraded it, you want to go to the bodywork and purchase the spike, and then just drive your car outside of the arena. You want to park somewhere flat, open up the interaction menu, make sure you have some body armors, have some heavy and super heavy armors as it will work better and make sure your armor bar is full as well. Next, just equip the atomizer weapon, hold aim, climb up in front of your AC, walk towards the roof, you don't have to go on top and then just roll back. Roll backwards and repeat the process. The more you roll, the more your armor will stack. I usually do it like 15 to 20 times so you have 20 stack of armor. Once done, you can actually test this with your atomizer, just shoot it to the ground. If you see your armor is still intact, means it's working. You can test it with explosives here and you should be able to tank a lot of damage. You can queue up for jobs, missions, heists, and it'll bring the armor into that mission or heist. The only thing that you don't want to do is to take cover behind any object. If you do this, it will completely deplete your armor and you won't be able to carry the armor to the next mission and you might have to redo the whole process again. So for the criminal masterminds, you guys have to do the prep, setups and heists all with the same people whether it's 2, 3 or 4 players and also in order from Act 1 until Act 3. You also have to do them in hard mode without dying. Even though it sounds hard but it's really not, if one of you happen to die, all of you will need to close the application or the game immediately to avoid the game from saving. Then you guys can continue where you guys were left before. Also don't do any skip trips. If you fail without anyone dying in the mission, it's fine. You can quick start as well. Also if you guys are planning to do this, you guys can't queue up with other randoms for any doomsday heist because it'll break the loyalty challenge. That's it from me today. If you guys want to know more about Doomsday Heist Act 1 to Act 3 guide, you can click the link in the description below as well. If you find this video useful, be sure to hit that like and also subscribe to the channel for more future GTA videos. This is Joe and I'll see you next time.